Danielle again. I'm still on a roll with bottle bottom pours and uh, as I said in my last video I was hoping to try to do a triple layer pour so I found my three sizes of bottoms which fit nicely one on top of the other and so that is the pour that I'm going to do today and this time I have got my similar colours to what I had in my last video, except I've added different things to them. This one now has a pearlescent wine added to it. It has just brought it out a little bit brighter rather than darker. This one I have lightened up a little more with pearlescent pink, so it's a light fuchsia colour now. The same with the yellow, I, instead of being yellow deep it is now lightened out with a pearlescent yellow and the green the same again, pearlescent green added just to lighten it out a little and as an extra colour I have done a lighter green which has no pearlescent in it at all just for the sort of edge patterns and bits and pieces that I want to do. So I'm going to be pouring those colours over the bottle bottoms but before I start that of course I am going to put my cushion of white right around and I've discovered why, at least I think I've discovered why I get a bit of a, have had a bit of a lean on my previous videos doing bottle bottom pours they go in one direction it's because I really can't cut very straight so I'm afraid the edges that I cut on my bottle bottoms aren't quite straight and uh, the more I try to straighten them the shorter <laughs> they get so I've just left it at that so now I'm going to add the white my cushion white and cover my piece of uh, foam type board stuff they use it for doing sign work um, putting signs on to uh, like the real estate agencies and I'm just using a piece of that it's got the little lines in it so I'm interested to see if that creates any patterns so I'll just pop that back and get my white paint and put the cushion and cover on down now and it's pretty settled so I'm going to add the other two bottle bottoms and start layering the colours over them so I've got this one here right now I'm putting them on exactly the same way but as I'm pouring over them I'm going to twist them slightly so that the patterns go in different directions it just be making sure that it's well anchored into the paint and the biggest one over the top of that and anchor that that's it down into the paint too just lets a bit of the air out and make sure that it's sticking tight excellent okay I um, probably haven't got it quite centred, looks like it's probably closer to that edge than that one so here's hoping that this isn't too crooked and now I'm going to start putting the colours on My piece of plastic and I'm about to remove the first bottle bottom. Actually I just might wait a little while, just a little while longer because it still looks as though there's a bit of paint coming down. So I'll just take out these bubbles. Right, 
take, well to try and stop that edge from going over, as has happened in the past, I'm just going to pop some um, stir sticks under the legs just to raise it slightly on the side. I did check it for levelling and the, it was level fine on this so again I think it's probably because I haven't cut the bottle bottom straight. So this just might help the um, paint to centre itself more rather than going over the edge. And now I'm going to remove this bottom very gently. I can feel the paints pulling hard at it. There we go. Okay, the next lot of colours. Except this time I'm going to turn this slightly so that the pattern comes out in a different on a different angle. There we go. Make sure all that air is pushed out. Good. and start pouring. piece of plastic back and take out this bottom. Wow, it's looking really good already. Even with my extra little drip, it's looking really good. I'm very pleased with it so far. So now I turn the final one around so it's in the same direction as the first one. Try and anchor it down completely, make sure there's no air under it because that's what causes it to start to move. Good. And now I will pour some more colours. Time to remove this little bottom now. I went away for a few minutes just to give it a chance to settle down. I'm going to pull that away and pop tiny dots of colour into the centre. it hasn't gone over the edge. <laughs> I guess that's a bonus. I'll just pop this out of the way and get some gloves on. But before I do, I'd better give it another quick torch and I do want to use my spatula to make all the markings that pick out a very, very, very successful, for me anyway, um, Reverse dip, which is my next move, of course. I want to make this into a reverse dip. I've got a slight hair here, there we go, which I really don't want on my can on my board, on my paint board. Okay, and I also want to just flatten this down a little. It just bugs me a bit that it's slightly dented. Okay. So I am going to now use my spatula to make the patterns I want to make and add little bits of green here and there to get it ready to put down a white table napkin which I've sprayed with water over it to do a reverse dip.
that's my fiddle time. <laughs> now I have to get my um, piece of table napkin, my white table napkin, to put over this. I will get my gloves on and go and get it. I can still see a few little bubbles I just want to pop. It's not bad with the bubbles. I actually mixed the paints quite a while ago. Okay, it was today, but it would be over two hours ago. I did have to add a little bit more water to a couple of them, but they haven't done too badly. Okay, my piece of paper napkin. Um, it is quite wet. Thank goodness it is big enough to go over this. So I will just gently drape it over. Trying to do as few bubbles as possible. Unfortunately, because of the size of it, I think I could have a bit of a mission with that. I'm going to have to pull this one out, which of course pulls the paint as well. And this one. One thing I do like about these table napkins is that they're very, very strong. And now I'm going to go through and get as many air bubbles out as I can. my piece of plastic to put my table napkin onto and the usual drill I will go corner to corner gently lifting the table napkin until I have removed it completely. center which is my own fault for the way that I picked it up but just beautiful so maybe if I tipped it back slightly this way I could get it back more towards center oh just gorgeous I'm loving it those colors are so pretty and I'm glad I'm popping the green in between because it's like it's multi-layered right and I need to get rid of quite a few air bubbles here and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a tilt just to try and um, spread the colours out a little more. It's a little um, smudgier than I had intended. I think that is probably because the white paint, my base paint, was quite thin. I'm pretty sure in my last video that I did I had reasonably thick base paint and it tends to make a difference. Right, that seems to be most of the bubbles. I found also because that paint was thinner that my piece of paper towel has lifted a lot more of the white off. But that, no, really, really pleased with this. Love all the little green daubs that I put in. Um, just playing around and, and trying to do something different. So now I'm going to give it a wee bit of a tilt. I'll just move this. I just love it. I absolutely love it. The centre is supposed to be there. At the moment the flower is telling me the centre is there. So I'm going to see what I can do to change that. I'm actually going to see if I can just use my spatula to bring that over this way more. Just centre it this way, which is what I, thank goodness, I have been able to do. Bring it around from here as well, toward, as though it's coming towards the centre there. And the same here. 
and just bring it in so that it looks like the centerpiece is right there and get a wee dot of yellow to drop onto there and a wee dot more <sighs> that's lovely I'm going to pop a wee dot more of the yellow and then use my finger just to press into it to give it that center area yes okay oh that's good that's really good there's a little more white than I intended in it in the centerpiece but I'm still glad I put it in because it just breaks up the colors and uh, it makes it look a little bit different well that's my triple bottom <laughs> triple bottle bottom pour reverse dip completed once again thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you next time